Uh, my name is uh, Celani, I work in Frascaldi National Laboratory and I was, uh, and, uh, I was involved in uh, cold fusion study since the beginning, but at the beginning I was very strong skeptical because I suppose there were some mistake somewhere in bona fide, so I tried to disprove the Kleshman uh, Pons uh, results and Jones. And so I make experiment, I'm just experimentalist. I found something uh, uh, that I cannot explain for myself, and I continue up to now. At the beginning, the enthusiasm was really giant about such a di discovery. The main magazine in the United States, Times, Newsweek, Business Week, speak a lot, cover a cover story, but as uh, uh, be, uh, shortly come enthusiasm, immediately back come the delusion. Uh, because uh, reproducibility is a problem. Uh, why the people is enthusiastic? If you look to uh, Princess on Tokamak, you can see very, very big ma machine. This is the man there. You compare to Freshman, is, is the device. Big machine, small, small machine. So the people think, okay, maybe there is another possibility to produce uh, the dream of the man, uh, the sun in the earth. So the problem is uh, the effect of Freshman is, is was my own problem. It is real. Before the mistake, some very complicated, fraud. Everything is possible. It has to be very, very cold about. So we try to make experiment. This is uh, one of a uh, typical experiment of uh, uh, cold fusion at the beginning. This was performed from Eugen Malov, but uh, after he, he died, he was uh, killed. Um, he works at uh, MIT. This is the most simple experiment using bat cal calorimeter just to watch what happened. Very, very simple, primitive. If you want something more reliable, uh, user-oriented, uh, you need flow calorimetry. This, uh, I make a list of uh, the progress about heat. I will speak mainly about anomalous heat. It's what the normal people want. Heat to make the room warmer in the winter time and the later electricity. So it starts in 1989, pressure on pumps. This is the maximum power that they get, about one watt, usually 0.1 watt. They gain two, five percent, temperature 30 degree. Historical palladium platinum, electrolysis. The salt is a lithium on the oxide, concentration 0.1 molar. They use, according to me, Primitive is hyperbolic calorimetry that needs a lot of calculation. So the physics don't like calculation in the field far from physics. It's typical for, uh, for chemistry. So it was not accepted. Later, McCubre and uh, Stepford Fish Institute uh, make, uh, make some, uh, some progress. It gets up to three watts. It's always the best value but introduce flow calorimetry. So everybody can be sure something exists without using very complicated calculation. Two years later, Takashi, uh, using a special kind of uh, plate prepared from Tanaka company, get a giant value of respect. Six, up, up to 60 watt, 25%, uh, several weeks. It was like a revolution because uh, use flow calorimetry, so no doubt. Large power, long time, everything was good. So, sorry. Okay. Now we are going from, from the doubt. Fraud, mistake, no, real. But real. There is a nuclear reaction or chemical reaction. We have to go over. This is a summary 
of, uh, of some of the main experiments performed. It was found helium-4 helium from Miley, Gotts in Italy, Preparata, Arata. It was found tritium from Indian people in the later Los Alamos laboratory. It was found even neutron bus, but at very low level, Los Alamos, Frascati laboratory, myself, uh, United States. Energy particle, heavy, heavy particles, alpha, usually, from now and future laboratory, uh, measured new elements, transmutation. The first one was Mali in the United States. Later, Iwamura from Mitsubishi Heavy Industry made, a, I think, a wonderful experiment, very expensive, very sophisticated, but really wonderful. I will show three pages of this main result, Mizuno in Japan again. Another, Armin, Armin Juk from, uh, German, uh, from Berlin, uh, electro synchrotron and um, nuclear la 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 laboratory, demonstrated that it's possible to get enhanced electron screening with some specific material, like palladium, strontium, and so on. So the specific material of cold fusion give large electron screening. And he published, I think, a historical paper in Physical Agency, 20 page. Similar result from Kasaji in Japan and Lipson in, uh, in Russia, now they died. So, so, the conclusion, all give the feeling of nuclear reaction and the database is quite robust. Thousands of papers published in referee journals. Moreover, uh, if you remember, Tagashi showed wonderful result, uh, 60 watt, so on. So the Japan government asked to the community involved in this field to uh, test if the experiment of Arada had some mistake, some error, some error. Three people accepted to make a replication, uh, myself in Italy, Danino at Tenea Frascati, and Melo in, in the United, United States. We make our test. We get the results lower than uh, Takashi, but even good results. And we, later we found there was a very big problem due to the batch, to, to the batch different of the palladium, means surface effect has very strong uh, effect, but at that time, nobody understood. We understood later. So, partially replicated, but positive. Paid from Japan government. In 1993, Piantelli in, in Italy uh, changed uh, from palladium to nickel, more cheap, from deuterium <coughs> hydrogen, was the first to work at, with the gas high temperature, 350. He get some chest heat, but very poor reproducibility. Okay, beginning is normal. Arata, in Japan, almost in similar, in similar time, using a hybrid procedure uh, that he developed uh, about 20 years before for, uh, cold, for hot fusion. You uh, use a double stratal cathode, and he got good result. It was the first to use nanometric sub-micro palladium powder, the first in the world, so red. Kurimazu from Toyota made a systematic work. It was done in the national trial, Takashi replicated, I told. Another point, very important, just nine months after uh, Fletcher Pons uh, demonstration, was done a wonderful result at NASA, December 89. They get anomalous HS heat using deuterium and not hydrogen. This experiment was really wonderful. Very simple, no calculation, nothing. For stupid people like me, just experimental. You watch, okay, there is something really, really good. But this wonderful result was not the diffused. 
the explanation was that the NASA was looking for neutrons, not it. So because they don't find the neutrons, they decide to put uh, the document in some place and work later about it. But if you look one thing and find another, maybe more important, why don't say to the other people, mystery? Um, though over the time the experiments uh, continue, we saw the involved company like Pirelli, um, Moratti Group give support to Preparata. We make some, some variation of wire introduced from Preparata. We use a very large pulse current in order to introduce not equilibrium condition. According to me, is one of the key parameters. We have current density up to 150,000 ampere per square centimeter for microsecond time, usually. Use flow calorimetry, so safe data, and was published from uh, nuclear, East, from um, Fisi letter, say, 16 page, very long story about. Later, Mali University of Chicago use a plastic nanobeads, alloy, plastic, nickel, and palladium, again, palladium, and multi-layer, another key point, flow calorimetry, even lower, lower level, but large gain, 200%, even not stable. In Italy, again, the Nino Biolante, the preparator group, uh, before he died, uh, used very, uh, um, um, palladium coated, on uh, silicon, on, uh, on sapphire, used about one meter long, very thin and long, to get a chest heat and helium-4. But the problem, this material very easy to be self-destructed. But anyway, there was scientific proof, helium-4 and heat, even at a low level. Again, the story. Um, Arata used true nanoparticles with some material to avoid the sintering. The weak point of nanomaterial, when you increase the temperature, they self-sintering, they are not nanoparticles anymore. So it's a good idea is to mix with some inert material like zirconia to reduce the sintering problem and they get very good result. Arata was replicated this time from uh, Stable Institute have enough uh, instrumentation and full confirmed. So the replication is our style of the best result, obviously. We make some uh, changing because, uh, okay, Arata make uh, with the deuterium, I will make uh, wire, I will make mix with uh, Arata idea of wires. Instead of using deuterium, we use hydrogen, more cheap, but the surface nano-coated. So it means wire, nickel wire coated with some specific material at nano dimension, about 50 layers, very boring procedure. But we get good results, but only for 30 minutes after the wire was self destructed But 200% of gain, very large gain, 300 degree. Arata again, competitor, <laughs> he used nanoparticles, zirconia palladium, work at 180 degree for several days, not only 30 minutes, several, several hours, not only 30 minutes. And he get very, very interesting result. So the point is, why nanomaterials? Because the nanodimensionality is the key point, as claims Arada and Brian uh, from MIT, or maybe linked to energy localization ph phenomena, as uh, uh, discovered for a chance from by Fermi, Pasta Paradox, on the 54 equipped secrets for several years, so still open point. I think are both effort altogether. 
So this is uh, the NASA paper. They make reconfirmation of the data of 1889 to check if it really was a chess seat. So very large group, well, uh, good budget. Is uh, this, uh, October 29, 2009. They get this the reconfirmation, this wonderful result. They get anomaly on the loading only when was used deuterium and not hydrogen. In short, when you load hydrogen, you have a chemical reaction due to the hydrure formation. We have positive temperature. When you deload, negative. Hydrogen, all as expected. Normal, everybody can do this one. When you use deuterium, always at 300 Celsius, you are positive as expected. But when you deload, you expect negative, balance zero, still positive. So this, according to me, just this event, this behavior is enough to give a lot of funding to cold fusion. This one has no chemical, no physical explanation. Happen only with deuterium and not hydrogen using palladium. This document keep secret again. And I found uh, by chance last August because I am not so clever with the computer. I was looking for the old paper 89. I put something wrong in the research, and I find this paper. I suppose a mistake, but it was real. They reproduce, and again, segregate the document. I continue. Uh, in, uh, so the point of Arata critics, uh, you, have, you put some heat in order to have a chest power, so it can be some mistake somewhere. So he decided to have an experiment without input power. No input pa power using differential calorimeter, means our twin calorimeter exactly the same, one hydrogen, one with deuterium. With deuterium, it get a chest power from, up to, from about half watt the middle. So the point, you have to have a nanoparticle with this dimensionality that is exactly the dimensionality of Fermi. Some intriguing coincidence. This is the good dimensionality. We try, obviously, uh, to overcome Arata. We are Italian, we will always the first one in the world. My character is very bad. So we used palladium whites nano-coated with the deuterium at extremely large temperature, 550. And we get, at that time, um, the power density in HS, the largest. It was uh, like a record in, in 2008. 400 watt per gram of palladium for 12 hours. Just considering the conventional nuclear power plant as a power density altogether, or the 30, 50 watt, so maybe it's about eight times larger of a good nuclear power plant. Arata, because so good result, was replicated and paid from Toyota and the Japan government. They make together collaboration and they replicated the material. But because Toyota is a company and don't want to be under the control of any university, because I rather will collaborate with the university, asked to a very clever company in uh, expert in nanomaterials, Santoku in Kobe, to make a material similar to Arata just reading the published document. No, nothing secret. They just keep the documents from rather published and they try to get similar material. They spend one year, okay, not, not so easy.
but they succeed. The most important, uh, the psychological bar uh, barrier of transferred irreproducibility in condensed matter nuclear science experiment was broken for forever. Two reasons. One, different completely experiment from Orata to Kobe University. Different apparatus, different material, just reading the formula. So it was really a big success and the PC letter gave large overview or cover the story. Later, uh, Professor Ayrn, Ames Laboratory, Militar Laboratory, improved the original zirconia uh, nickel palladium material developed from Arata five years before and give to a Toyota Group and they get a larger heat, three watts, always at a large temperature, room temperature, so gain infinite because no power inside. We try to overcome, we are very bad people. So one year later, we use a mix of nickel wire, nano-coated, uh, with, uh, at six bar pressure, the deuterium gas mixing with argon in order to reduce the thermal conductivity. And we work up to 900 Celsius for six days. So this is equivalent to the power density, 1,800 watts per gram of nickel. And this was, uh, this experiment controlled from other people, from, not from my group, from other external people from my company. Recently, Rossi, a company, uh, claims 10 kilowatt, so no comparison, fact 600%, temperature larger than 100. He claims over six months, but no independent test. In some, later, some months later, the Scallion group linked to Rossi before collaborating after that they fight because of money reason. They claim gain 2,500, over 200 degree. Operation over 10, one month both use some secret catalyzer, not, uh, not, uh, not known, and nobody up to now can check their apparatus. Anyway, the Scallion promised with a letter, from a letter to me, that I can check, but still now not yet scheduled the timing, so I hope it will be done. So, the database, I think it's uh, robust. We have better instrumentation, calibration, control. The, uh, the systematic error found and uh, eliminated. We the nuclear ash, correlated with its production. Many new experiments, more attention to materials, especially nano material. Interlaboratory reproducibility improved, cross, cross and check and it was continuous activity and in international conference. So, now what we can say? The effect is, is real, it's not chemical, it's nuclear, but nuclear fusion or other, new, or other nuclear reaction, maybe Yogi before try to answer to this point. We have, uh, up to now, 16 international conference several in, in Europe, Italy, and most in Japan, because the Japan government gave a lot of money to cold fusion, and the Japan company gave money, and the rumor even the emperor <laughs> gave money, because he want uh, healthy the Japan people, so cold fusion can help to reduce uh, pollution. At the international conference workshop, 18 in Russia, 11 in Japan, 10 in Italy, 8 in the United States, and several sessions in a, uh, to national uh, society. So now where, where we, we, we stay? 
if we look at all the signs, all the procedures, we say we have some effect. Is agreement with uh, in theory? No, maybe not even close. Reproducibility problem? Yes, big. So it's wrong, impossible. So cut out, cut. New science, new theory. So new theory means a new knowledge. The experiments are difficult. Okay, very, very difficult. We need more experiment. Why not? Different approach. So the three mainstream of uh, experiment was uh, electrochemical loading, historic attachment ponds. The gas loading uh, started with uh, Italian um, Cantelli, later nickel or nanoparticles by Arata, mixing with and the nano coating myself, so mixing. Now the most used are protons into nickel because uh, nickel has very low cost. Hydrogen in the normal water. Rossi claims uh, such giant numbers, but not test independent, so net, nothing to say about. Uh, Coldy twin are um, sub-micro particles and second catalyzer. There are several new groups worldwide working in, in this way to get the largest seat. Recently, what happened? Ross, this one is my friend um, Focardi, in front of his energy catalyzer. They claim such big numbers. Uh, I, I ask to Rossi, please, I want to check for enough long time one of your device. I will never open just measuring input-output energy. You can stay with me when I work. But he refused because in some way he told, you are, you are too much expert. If you work, you will understand my secret. So I have to get money for this device. So please wait. When will, after I get the money, you can, you can check. Even Nobel laureate Brian Josephson has my same idea. So we wrote an open letter in Italian magazine uh, to ask him to please give one device to Cerani, blah, blah, blah. Nothing happened. Recently, uh, Russian announced that they will, will start a company uh, at the end of uh, 2000 to sell small kind of the device. Now, NASA. What about NASA? I make a talk last January at the SEO meeting, World Sustainable Energy Conference, and I, I told, okay, very pity that NASA, so important, so honest company, keep secret some wonderful result. So just one day later, I finished my, my talk. Now it's my friend Gustav, <laughs> is here present. Make a, like, uh, advertisement video well, they say, oh, the learn can solve a lot of our problems, aviation, space, uh, energy, energy generation. Some days later, one of the experimenter, Joy Zavodny, say, okay, this video is, is correct, but some are, my opinion, some not mixed. But anyway, it's good. The scallion in Greece uh, claimed now to have increased the temperature from 200 up to 650 Celsius. I ask in public again to, to test, to say, okay, after our uh, patent will be filed, we don't wait for money, just patent filing complete. So it's better. Uh, in February, Professor Peter Agestein, Lawrence Howard, so some important people, very, very clever, works at MIT, uh, put his face to an experiment, electrochemical, so old style, of Michael Schwarz, and uh, the gain was factor 10, several hours, even at low power, 0.1 watt. But so important people that say, okay, I am convinced, theory, so, now, 
recently, what happened? We have uh, behaved like uh, Rossi. We work in secret. We used a commercial alloy. We have no, we have very few uh, budget. So we have to reduce our cost. For several theoretical consideration, we decided to use a commercial alloy from uh, Germany, copper, nickel, manganese. We modify strongly with our procedure, uh, producing nanomaterial, nanomicromaterials on the surface. We add some uh, palladium in order to improve the um, reactivity. And after a long cooperation, we get some chest power up to 10 watts, temperature larger than 20, 260 degrees, gain about 50%. Reconfi we start at November, reconfigure in January. So there is something, okay, the number is the best, usually two, three watts, but very long time, one month operation. But we found a, I think, a very interesting point. When there is a chest seat, the material that before behave a standard positive temperature coefficient material of the resistivity versus temperature, when start to produce a chest seat thermal anomalies, behave negative. Negative. So very, very battery, okay. Very, very strange. From positive battery, battery out, kaput. <laughs> okay, still. So, it's marker like. You have another? Okay, sorry, I don't know. Or maybe conventional, <laughs> long, <laughs> long wood. <laughs> okay, people coming. Thank you. Sorry. Okay, so the material from positive comes to negative. Similar material from Toyota and the University of Coburn group, get to see, they work up to 300 de degrees. Usually I work at 500, 600. So I get this result at a larger temperature. They get something uh, maybe similar. I uh, use twin calorimeter, hydrogen, helium, uh, helium and uh, hydrogen, they found the reaction is endothermic, very strange, at low temperature and exothermic over 200 degrees. This is some special threshold. Nanopowder, same, the same. They use uh, a copper, nickel, zirconia. We use uh, this copper, nickel, manganese, but nano wire, nano coated. So different procedure but the main material is almost the same. And we work secretly, each other. Nobody knows. Uh, last uh, January, because the meeting uh, at the ISEO, I asked to German people, you have some new result? Say, yes, we have this material. Say, but it's the same mine. So for some reason, we have studied the same material, and this study was really secret. Nobody can speak about. Even when I go away from the, the lab, I keep away the book, lock book, to avoid uh, leakage. Anyway, similar result. So I think it's very, very good. Um, so I ask uh, to the Gashi group, uh, Japan people, to give me some transparency of their latest result. So they prepared for me a short, just to, to show to you. Um, I want to keep, help me please. <laughs> okay, yes, this one. Okay, I go quite quickly. Okay, 
No, sorry. This is the twin reactor, hydrogen and deuterium. <coughs> sorry, I lost my, my voice. And the conventional cold fusion experiment, very, very chaotic. Simple, but very, very chaotic, because several instrumentation all at the same, at the same time. A sketch of one chamber is the powder, is vacuum calorimeter in some aspect. Are two uh, chambers exactly the same? One filled with hydrogen gas, other with deuterium gas. Uh, they use uh, two grams of powder, two grams of active material, both chamber. Uh, I go to the most final results. Okay, over time, this experiment, this is the loading, is HS power, quite low, but over time, the deuterium decrease. And long, another experiment, the hydrogen filled with nickel get two watt after about eight days of operation. And the hydrogen filled before negative, about this is uh, three days operation, and after slowly come back to almost zero. So to go to zero is very important for the calibration. If you make some mistake, you never go to zero. So these data are real. Deuterium, hydrogen. With nickel, reverse effect. You get anomalous heat with hydrogen and for transient time, negative with deuterium. So nuclear physics can sink a lot, I think. It's uh, resuming after 3,000 minutes, about three days of operation. The balance kilojoule for ground nickel per hour, about 2.3, and the negative for the deuterium experiment. At the beginning, always negative. So need some conditioning, something strange, I don't know. We have to study deeply. Yeah, the transient phase. Okay, this is the important. With hydrogen gas, the balance of electron volts per atom of nickel, about 300, over 300 or oh, yeah, almost 400. Remembering that the chemical reaction has about from two up to four electron volts per atom, it means at least 100 times larger than any chemical reaction. 10 days, so no mistake, no transit, nothing. Okay, Come comments. Now, uh, <laughs> teacher. <laughs> okay, maybe escape this one. The main again. Sorry. Main, 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 main. This one. Yeah. No more. Okay, down. Back. Okay, I do. No. Too fast. Ah, okay. Now, uh, one really wonderful experiment is a nuclear measurement by Singleton, Singleton Wright from Mitsubishi. They have a layer of nanometric, always nanometric, palladium, calcium, over deposited uh, cesium, barium, tungsten, and so on is the structure, you can see two nanometers, 20 nanometers, is the proper range of the elements. This experiment, the cesium flowing time and the deuterium decrease over time, and the praseodymium radiate increase. So the balance is about, about one. This was done without taking off the sample from the chamber, always close. So no contamination, it's very important. I want to put the other three, sorry. <laughs> and wait here a moment, so. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, yeah, sure. It wait, wait a moment, it was very... Okay. The second, the experiment of Mitsubishi was cross-checked from the strongest competitor of Mitsubishi, Toyota. <laughs> and they have something similar. They make, they experiment with their own material, with their own instrumentation, but they have to say, okay, it is, uh, it is right. It's some anomaly. The chasing go to Persodinum. And uh, there is another group, Osaka University, Ivan University, and so on, reconfirmed this effect. We have done something similar in 2000, it's an old experiment with electrolysis, and we get something more or less similar. But this is a very clean experiment, gas experiment. We have electrolysis so dirty. And now the results uh, using spring gate, signal light, the cesium go to persodinium, the strontium to molybden, and very important, the molybden has isotopic composition different from natural one. So very strong proof, this one. Persodinium only one, uh, one line, so nothing, nothing you can say. With barium, not, there are several isotopes. There are reactions, two kinds, with 138 barium to samarium, another rare earth, and samarium was different uh, isotope. So from this, this one, always adding, seems adding six deuteron. And this can be interesting to the, to the woman, because if they want a platinum uh, ring, so better to, to save the tungsten from the lamp, hold the lamp from the tungsten, and spending, uh, using a very expensive <laughs> instrumentation, you can get platinum. Sometimes you get osmium, not, not good, but if, if you are lucky, platinum. Okay, next. Uh, by the way, this experiment, in very primitive um, way, was uh, done from Italian group and another group in um, Sapporo, Mizuno group. So, but they, they don't have so sophisticated instrumentation to be sure. They just say, oh, we will save this one platinum, but maybe few people believe. They are honest, but not enough good quality. Okay, go, try it. Right. Okay. Okay. Uh, this is just an over overview of our carotid experiment in Prascati. So be passed. This is the reactor. Look, gamma, gamma electron and some instrumentation. But it's a typical cold diffusion experiment, so nothing to stretch. The state of art, what is? The freshman effect confirmed. Not too bad. Uh, this kind of reaction happen in the crystal lattice, lattice or near the surface as to be clarified. There are some uh, radiation, weak, not stable, but something happened, very low level. Uh, key point, the reaction starts only when the surface has some proper geometry or uh, poisoning. So controlled by the surface. Perhaps when the surface works, even in the lattice inside come, so increase the power. Um, okay, just to have an idea, the experiment is similar to catalysis, heterogeneous ca catalysis. The best result is done from people, but they don't want to show details because uh, money reason, or maybe because they are not able to reproduce still under uh, problem. I don't know. 
So, the are nuclear, atomic, both theory will say. There are one mechanism or several approaches at the same time. I think it is one. Uh, the reaction could mean start from the materials and go to the bulk. Uh, there is something common between electro electrochemical and uh, uh, gas experiment. I think something common happened. Why not? Which one is the root, uh, the reason of the irreproducibility? I don't know. Which one of the external factors can be used to start the reaction? We have some idea about, but need more work. Anyway, learn or uh, confirm it. Produce little radiation, so safe. Almost no residual radioactive materials are clean. Almost nothing, greenhouse gas, green. Can, can be distributed. This one has to be more in detail studied. So can be distributed, local, localized. All of these are important, all together better. So can be commercialized. Conclusion. The problem of reproducibility. The beginning was very turbulent. Um, uh, the work was imp improved step by step, quality, responsibility, understanding. Very important. The most innovative experiment since beginning 92 was cross-controlled from other groups not linked to the scientists that make the claims. Not linked. So this is uh, important because uh, I get standard of scientific methods and ethics. Very important. Other people check what you've done. And, ad and you don't know what they will say until the, pub the public show of the data. The gas environment seems uh, the most important. Arada was the first one, and the nanomaterials. So, a better price, and a better give money to, to work. <laughs> At the beginning, working at 60 bar, it would be dangerous. Now, only 10 bar seems enough. So, gas means you can increase the temperature up to 300, 500 degrees. Means electric power production for the application, very, very important. Okay, the best one, uh, we are Italian, so the best, 900 hydrogen argon, but not stable for a long time. So we need, I think, uh, okay, we can in some way neglect the situation about the result of Rossi as, or, and the Descalion, because if they are right, okay, we just say the experimental aspect, big steps are performed. Anyway, even if they have some mistake, the experiments up now performed worldwide are so good quality, cross-checked, uh, people, uh, reliable people, honest. So I think it's time to start the international system program in order to improve the result. We need money, manpower, everything. The point is a multidisciplinary approach. Physic, physicist, chemistry, engineer, so on. So at the beginning, we generate heat and electricity. Obviously, the theory has to be boosted. We have to understand, to be sure to avoid accident. And then, uh, if this program will be, la will be performed, we start the point for a new, a new era. So, at one point I forget, uh, beginning. Some of my uh, transparency has this st strange symbol, dollar and euro, because some were prepared by Professor Nagel of the United States and was partially revised from uh, Engineer Cavallero and myself to change uh, 
from in, this was in, in devoted originally for uh, industrial people to sign people, so we have to change something. So I want to take uh, in general Cavallero help organizing everything. I finish. Thank you. So we can have some short session of questions to both speakers.